Hello everybody, it's Stefan Gunning and welcome back to part two of this video series on how to set our goals. Now if you remember in the last video we talked about having a mission statement, a very specific and personal mission statement in, in your various aspects of life and then having your long-term goals that aids in achieving this mission statement. And then if I can just add something there before we get started, it should be that your mission statement is going to be very fixed. I mean, if it's your mission in life, it's not something that's really going to be changing. But when your long-term goals should be able to have some leniency in, in changing. If you see, okay, I'm not going to be able to do this in a year, then you can update these goals. And then, of course, your medium-term goals can also be uh, able to change. But when we get to short-term goals, this is something that is not really, that you should not really be changing. They should be fixed. Okay, so medium and long-term goals, you should have some leniency. If you're seeing it's not really realistic, or if you didn't aim high enough, then you can change this. But don't change your mission statement, really. I mean, if something happens in your life and you want to change it, by all means. But try not to uh, constantly change your daily goals and your short-term goals. Okay, so let's jump in to the medium-term goals. Now, this, again, is not a fixed... Uh, time period. This can be monthly. Uh, you can look at two months, but not shorter than a month, your, your medium term goals. And this is really something that people tend to overlook. They have their long term goals and short term goals uh, to achieve this. But often we just uh, don't see, start to see the results in our short term goals. But there's not a time period fixed to it. So we just lose motivation and we just um, quit it completely. So the medium term goals is something that is very important. And if you see, you start to forget about them over two months, make it three weeks or make it a month. Okay, but try to achieve these medium term goals as often as you can because they really aid in the longer process. Do not avoid them. Okay, now, uh, of course, it's the same as the long term goals. They should be specific. And then the medium term goals, of course, should build on your long term goals which then builds on your mission in life. And then if we go to the short-term goals, which is at the start of the first part of the series, in part one, we had a look at this is where a lot of people just tend to say, I want to go to the gym, and then they go to the gym for 50 minutes, or, you know, uh, there's a lot of examples. Or they say they want to work harder, and they work uh, longer, but not necessarily harder at work. So that they just can get a sense of instant gratification. And this is something I'm personally, I did for a long time. And then uh, after I read a few books and I came in knowledgeable, I realized this is just something that I can, at the end of the day, say, oh, I did enough. Okay, but if they, if they should be specifically based on your medium and long-term goals, and of course your, your mission in life, uh, so that you tend to do them more often and they become more personal to you. They should have a greater goal behind them and then uh, something very important about setting short-term goals now eventually we want these short-term goals to become a habit in your life if i can take an example of myself if i may it would be uh, a few years ago i decided that i wanted to wake up every single day at half past four uh, i can't remember why i decided this but i think it was something to do with going to uh, for a jog or i think uh, Elon Musk or somebody like that did it and I thought it was a, a good idea uh, but at the time I was very motivated and I woke up every uh, single day at half past four and eventually this became just a habit just something I didn't even need to write down again I just felt fresh I felt more vigilant and uh, eventually it just became a basic part of my day it's how it always started so this is where we want our short-term habits to be we want them to eventually, we don't have to focus and drain all our energy on achieving these goals. They should be full, form part of our daily process and our daily habits that we do. Okay, and then it's just going to make the whole process much more easier so that we do not have more pain than pleasure. Okay, so that is the mission, the long term goal, the short term goals, and uh, but we should basically, I believe, we should all try to implement in our life. Okay, so I'm going to end this video here. And I just want you to, if you start 
same results so if you want to share goals you set if you're not sure about anything or you want to share uh, your experiences as always just post it on the community page so that we can all follow we can all learn and we can all help each other okay so just try to get involved in the community page uh, just for a better experience more help and maybe if you have seen something that works for you that you can share with somebody else and they can learn from it when you're helping other people which is where eventually we want this motivational network to be okay so take care now and I will see you all in the next video.